When guys off ball, in their mind, they're trading a boosted on-ball ability with the chance to sit in the corner as far away from the play as possible. So instead of just throwing you completely off your game, I'm going to show you how to beat the computer AI off the dribble, but also take advantage of the fact that a good portion of the guys aren't good off-ball defenders and make that weakness stand out as well. So with that, all right, let's get it. One of the best things about 2K is you're able to see who your opponent is controlling when coming up the court. So you always want to be aware of what position they're controlling and doing so you start to see all the mistakes that are there to exploit. Like this can even lead you to start baiting them over a bit to one side to help open up a shot on the perimeter. Being able to hit somebody weak side when they don't think you see it is satisfying. So to take advantage of knowing who they're controlling, you want to start with being able to put consistent pressure on the rim. One big way to take advantage of off ball defenders is pressure in the rim. Because again, when guys off ball, they ball watch and creep into the paint the closer you get to it. So you want to be aware of who they're controlling and the high chance they're rushing over to help defend. It's hard to stay home. You feel compelled to drop down into the paint when help is needed. So take advantage and constantly apply pressure at the rim to open things up on the perimeter. Bigs who can shoot are first and foremost the most valuable to have to capitalize. But as long as you know they're going to overcommit and jump all crazy, it will leave Carl Anthony Towns all the way down to Kevin Looney open. A simple example of this is pressure the off-ball guy up the court who's parked in the paint. They're under attack because if they're not careful, you can get your trail guy in open three, if they can shoot it, of course, by driving directly at them. Doing this can make them forget about their matchup briefly. In NBA 2K24, you also have plenty of ways to beat computer defenders off the dribble as well. Any of the escape dribbles are a good way to break free from heavy pressure. The behind the back escape, which you perform by holding the right trigger and aiming down into the left with the right stick and then moving the left stick directly to the right. Or holding the right trigger and aiming down into the right with the right stick. And then moving the right stick directly to the left lets you get the defender rocking one way before you explode back the other. And on all of the escapes, you can play with the timing on when you go back the other way as well. You can do it immediately or wait until the very last second. An escape crossover is good as well, which you do by aiming the right stick directly to the left or right of your off ball hand and then moving the left stick in the opposite direction. There's also the between the legs cross while driving that can have you change directions on a dime, leaving the defender in the dust by simply aiming the right stick directly to your off ball left or right hand side. And my favorite being the spin move, which driving you can achieve by swinging the right stick from your ball hand side around the bottom to your non ball hand side. It's important to keep aiming the left stick at the basket to continue to move forward to successfully beat your defender. Another way to defeat off ball defenders is more so on the wing and it's utilizing the cut to the basket mechanic. Now they change it up a bit as it's much faster and the target has to be facing the basket, but how we want to use it remains the same. And you tell the player to cut by aiming the left stick at them and then holding the triangle or Y button on your controller. This is an excellent counter to guys trying to jump your passing lanes like an all pro safety and overrunning the target or helping you capitalize on sleepy defenders ball watching or in general being out of position. You can also guarantee their pick and roll defense will be in the drop and get yourself easy three point chances by performing quick pick and rolls with their defender. Let's say you're in the middle of the court and they're on one of your big men. You simply pass to one of them and drive towards one of your top two ball handlers. Either they're going to stay put or switch off, right? If they hit X or A on Xbox, the switch is going to be on the guy you're about to give the ball to. So that's great. Now, when you pass it to them, hold L, B, or L1 to activate a pick and roll and quickly run around it. Either they're still in the paint because they didn't peep what was going on, or they're on the ball handler's defender and unable to react quick enough to get over. And if they quickly switched off ball, it's very limited time to try and get over to help with the roll. Now, if you're big and shoot, you can make them fade and make the confusion even worse by doing all of the same things I just went over. Now, also in the pick and roll, majority of the time, your opponent will be controlling the hedge defender to play you and the roll man. One way to defeat this is by taking advantage of the pass lead mechanic, which you activate by hitting RB or R1 on your controller and then hitting the icon of the player you want while aiming the left stick in the direction you want them to go. 
So you can use this with rolling bigs to have them stop on a dime and go backwards by aiming behind them on rolls. It's extremely effective when your opponent is the hedge guy as there is no way for them to prepare for it. And I briefly went over this, but pass leading can also be your biggest weapon when your opponent's matchup is on the move. Due to how fast they're able to change direction, it makes it almost impossible for your opponent to cover your target if used properly. If you notice the rim is wide open, pass leading towards the paint can open up your player for a wide open layup or dunk. And again, like I mentioned earlier, facing the very common situation of driving off the pick and roll and they're defending both guys. Pass leading behind the roll man can unlock their shooting ability when your opponent least expects it. Next up, I love calling off-ball actions for the player my opponent is guarding because they don't expect it. And usually by the time they realize what's going on, they're running straight into a screen. And they don't see it coming because naturally your eyes are glued to the ball, whether you're playing on or off-ball. It's best obviously running it with bigs who can shoot as you have more room to run away from the defender. But it works as well with guys who are more paint dominant. And to call for an off-ball screen, hit LB or L1 on your controller and then hit the icon of the player you want to call the play for. I changed in my settings so the game will tell me what position the player my opponent is using rather than their name for reasons like this. Although it will only list the primary position they're listed at in the game, not who they're guarding. So if they have a power forward and small forward, it could cause issues. And yeah, once you select the player's icon, you will get three quick actions to select. Post up, cut to the basket, and receive off ball screen. Now select off ball screen and the game will select an off ball action to get them free. It's easy to execute because again, a lot of the time the user won't know what's happening before it's too late. The off ball screen where they flare to the corner also gives you an opportunity to lead pass to the hoop as well if both guys go around the screen. And lastly, you can look for plays in your team's playbook that utilize both sides of the court. So whoever the user decides to switch on to and sit on, he will constantly be asked to move around and make reads and avoid screens instead of just sitting there and dashing to the paint immediately at the first sign of trouble. So with that, all right, people, I hope this video was able to help you out. And if you have a way to defeat computer AI that I didn't mention in the video, leave it in the comments down below. And stay tuned here at Sports Gamers Online for more NBA 2K24 content. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon at the bottom so you don't miss anything we put out. And stay tuned for my next couple of videos where I go over pick and roll offense, defense, and how to improve your passing in 2K24. All right, people, I'm Chris. Thank you all for watching, and be good, y'all.